Brand new day, brand new video. What is up and what is glorious, guys? It is your host with the most, Paul Cantu, the Thrift God. And today we have a brand new interesting challenge. I'm gonna spend about three to four hours in the Goodwill outlet where they sell old clothes by the pound. I'm gonna see how many I can find, resell, and what my ultimate profit will be from investing a few hours in the Goodwill outlet the good will bend. So go ahead and smash the like button before we get started because I just want to bring something fresh, something tasty, something interesting to the scene. So I'm going to go in, grab as much gear as possible, flip it on whatnot so it will sell immediately and see what a realistic expectation of profit can be like for spending a few hours in the bins because not everybody has all day. So it's kind of going to be a preview of if you have three hours here and there, if you pop in, what you potentially could make. So without further ado, man, let's gear up, get out there, find some grails and hopefully make some profit. Let's get some gas and get to the thrift. Damn. I'm already at a huge deficit, so it's time to make this money back. Woo! And all right, guys, we have arrived. We are at the Goodwill outlet. This is a different location than I normally frequent because I want to make sure I can smack and use my time as effectively as possible. So let's get in. They sell the clothes by the pound. I'm going to grab a bunch, hopefully flip them and let y'all know the profit I make by spending a few hours in the Goodwill bins. Let's get it. Let's get ready to rumble. Bro. Wait, no, wait. Off rip. Wait, no, the Coca-Cola classics. Hold on. On that jerseys. Wait a second. Houston Community College, the March of Dimes. Dude, pure tins. What is this? Hey, good day, mate. Single stitch tennis ranch. Dude, what are these? They're like draw texture, made of a pillowcase, but they got pockets, bruh. Clean. Dang, that big vintage spell out. Wrestling on the back with the pirate, trying to pierce his tongue with a knife. It's a knife. Look at the colorway on this. Born to bogey? Dude, with a golden back hit. Hey, say it ain't so, man. We got the full fit in the thrift. Houston Community College, bruh. Okay, so you got the shirt to go with the hat. I think I'm gonna sling both together in a pack. One dollar for the two-piece set? Are you kidding me? Dude, in the Sturges, 1999? Why not? All right, guys, so I got my little basket of stuff going. The homie Omar pulled up, found this Carhartt jacket, so clean, and then he just passed me the Looney Tunes. I can't believe it, bro. Thank you, my fans. Thank you, bro. That is nuts. This is a cool ass shirt too, man. Say hello to my little friend. Look at this, man. Found something for the little man, except he already is too big to wear this. And it has vomit stains, mom spaghetti. spaghetti on it, no thanks. I'm gonna grab a couple of cool little toys and accessories to throw in orders, just to show appreciation for anyone who does pull up in this live. But by the time you guys see this, it already happened, but that's life. Hey, give him a kiss, bro. Give him a kiss. All right, so there's a little kiss from Chewy. Bro, I'm out, man. Um, I found another thing, this America's Heroes, the big dogs all embroidered. Come on, man. Dog pound. We actually have something for my son, man. This is from my hometown. A bunch of people from my high school would work here. Single stitch, vintage golf greyhound park tee. Low-key animal abuse. So they're starting to roll out stuff, it appears, man. You got a big dog's tee. You got the electrical wiring is not a hobby. Be safe. Call your electrical contractor. Nice. But uh, let's go line up. Round one. Fight. So my first find were the big dickies. Paws. Overalls. Fire resistant. Yeah, I had to grab these dudes. Then as I ventured around, I saw this suede 90s pilot jacket straight out the outback, good eye. Eh? And then the POW team, single. All right, so they got a little North Face puffer. Nice charcoal faded gray, slight distressing. It's so whimmish. All right, guys, there's only three things 
through the fire resistant damn Dickies overalls. There's nothing like dancing through a flame while looking like a farmer. Then you got the New Zealand Outback. I might get this. Both of these pieces are kind of heavy, but you have the single stitch POWT essential little stolen valor sauce. I might. Appreciate it. Come on, man. All angles. Nah, I make a. Oh, you do? Have you seen my OnlyFans? You see my OnlyFans? Bro. Hey, look, my adult content is popping too, man. That's all I gotta say. Follow me though, Thrift Sausage. Yeah, Thrift Sausage on OnlyFans. Yeah. On OnlyFans, I only got 2K, but you know what I mean? You gotta start somewhere. Bro, my OnlyFans booming, man. Y'all think I'm playing? <laughs> gotta put them onto my OnlyFans, bro. Mm -hmm. Facts. Let them know. Get in the oh my God. Hold on. Let me. Hey, hold that up. I'm sorry to slow you down. God damn. What up, what up, bro? You good? That, uh, that uh, J Lo from me yesterday. What happened? I said I won that J Lo. Oh, you got it? Yeah, Hell yeah. yeah. That, that, bro. I mean, it's small, <laughs> but I'm glad you got it. Shit. <laughs> Damn, I was too busy promoting my OnlyFans. What? What happened? Should I even get in, bro? You got OnlyFans, though? Yeah. You gonna follow me? Yeah. Three sausage? Oh, little yeah, center. Mm. Mm. You ain't getting there, bro. Of course, then you got a little, little <laughs> shit stain on it. <laughs> shit is, is heavily distressed, yeah, bro. Yeah. Thoroughly loved. Yeah, Look what got pulled. Awesome. My God, that is clean, bro. Vintage RT with the back hit. My God. Bro, look at this fireball. Why is this sitting here? Bad boys racing, bad boy toys. Pause. The Ford, and look at the colorway. And you got the fire resistant car hearts right underneath it. Perfect. Hell yeah. Crutch test. <sighs> it smells like it wasn't burned. That's all I know. That thrift sausage was not set ablaze. Dude, Goodwill always comes through with the great relationship advice. Problem solved, man. That's assault, brother. That's assault, brother. So this guy definitely needs to be clean, but the graphic is crispy 95 marathon Motorola. I read that wrong. Stupid. Hey, should I get this for the meme? Beer delivery guy. <laughs> Look at this. We got that clan band population me. Flip the world just blessed me with it. You guys go with him on whatnot. Come on, man. Screen stars made in USA. Jam with the clan. Guys, get it in. <laughs> Hey, single stitch, man. This is crazy. Thank you, bro. I appreciate you. He's going live right now, too, with this big ass pile. Insane. All right, guys. So I've been here, I think, like three hours now. Oh, this is the load. We got a bunch of stuff. Some that needs to be whitened, some that needs to be restored. I got hangers for my son, Paul Plant 2 status, my second channel. Some extras to throw in orders. But let's cash out and go ahead, skedaddle, and see how much I make off of three hours in the bins. I'm going to eat right now. I thought I'd be in here four hours, but I'm home. 48, 42. All right, let's go. You like to round up? For you? Me? Yes. I will. Just for you, though. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we are officially out of the goodwill. I need to get home, break down everything, or by home, I mean the office, break down everything, and then I'll show off all the items I got for 50. All right, y'all, so all the clothes have been washed. Yeah, look at me, man. I feel like a witch. <laughs> and behind me we have the rack of everything that I did purchase and then there's like one or two items that you guys may not have seen now I did take an L on a couple of pieces that still need to be cleaned and the dicky overalls that I did purchase were broken so that is a shame but here is the lineup problem solved Vegas and I'm going to live stream and sell all these guys on whatnot literally right about now in a couple of minutes but I just wanted to briefly and quickly show all the pieces that I did get cleaned. I found this takeout cat tee, which is absolutely fire. It is single stitch, but pretty much everything else you guys did see live in the store. This Pittsburgh though, this one is hard as hell. You guys did not peep that. The homie flipped the world, 
did bless me with the University of Alabama. I cannot get out all of those stains on the Russell Athletic piece. So this is what I'm gonna do, man. I'm gonna get on whatnot. It is Saturday for a good like 30 minutes, slaying as many of these items as possible and see what the profit I make on these guys are. Again, if you guys wanna follow me on whatnot, my username is ThriftGod. If you use the link in the video description, you get $15 off and this is why you guys need to follow me and have on the post noties because sometimes I randomly will slang some sauce. Even though in this case, it is just a realistic expectation of like three hours worth of Ben's fines. We'll see if I can make over 50 bucks. I think I can, but normally I do just slang grail. So without further ado, let's hop on this live and slang this heat. Welcome to a Saturday special right now, man. Ben's Fine Saturday, Dad. This is a beautiful vintage snapback. One dollar, that's it? You guys don't like hats? Tripping. Oh yeah, this is the big ticket item right here. Big 22 like Emma Smith. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 20 to hell. It was a working man, that's all I gotta say. Stings the nostrils. But yeah, I did restore this. It smells good as f It has been washed. It has been rasterized and it is clean. Multicolored, this can match any outfit. This is the last piece of this damn live. 17 bucks, thank you Tucker. Tucker, I love you, all right? And I love all you guys for tuning in on this random Saturday. This Tuesday, it is going down. Let me show y'all what I'm giving away. You got the all over print Harley Eagle tee. This will be free 99. So make sure y'all tune in, bookmark the show, follow me, all that. I love y'all. Y'all have a great weekend, man. Happy Mother's Day. Santos, thanks for holding it down. And until next time, I will see y'all soon. This is going to be included in a YouTube video. So thank you guys all for tuning in. I love you. Spam the chat. Say something wildly inappropriate right now. It is your time. All right, guys. So the top item that I sold today sold for $20. Two dollars. I made a total of 213 bucks during the live, but I gotta ship everything and then after fees I can report back. The POWT surprisingly went for 19 bucks. The beer 18 bucks. This was the coolest item. I thought it went for $17, but again, this live had no promo whatsoever, and the cat tea was a cool $15. So all together, man. A lot of the other stuff sold for like really not much, but this is a realistic expectation of what you can sell for three hours in the thrift. And we're going to see what my hourly wages will be when it's all said and done. Let's get to shipping, man. POWT is going out. And as I said, I like throwing extras in order. So all the items have been shipped and I made $179 off of that live. Minus the $49 that I spent at the bins is $130. So that is roughly $43 an hour for that three hours of work. Obviously it took a little more time to list everything, to ship everything and all of that. But with that being said, $43 times what 40 hours a week is like 1730 something dollars times 52 weeks in a year is ninety thousand dollars it doesn't necessarily work that way but essentially yes i profited 130 dollars in three hours with realistic bins like expectations and fine so if you guys enjoyed please smash that like button drop a comment down below if you guys would like me to do a different or another type of challenge i already have some in mind and obviously on my whatnot streams usually i do just sell grails and really cool items i'm giving away this bad boy on the next live which i did mention during today's live stream um, and overall, man, I just appreciate you guys for watching. I wanted to switch up the content on the continent just a little bit. For every single like I get on this video, I am gonna donate a penny to the Ronald McDonald Foundation. And I'm gonna keep doing that with the videos coming up because I want to give back and I do appreciate everyone who does support, does show love, does drop these comments and hops in the lives. And everyone who shops on the website too, I love you. But until next time, I'm locked, I'm loaded, and I'm out. Peace. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life, I and I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to.